In for the Night is a podcast that discusses movies, random topics, and gives you an excuse to just stay in for the night. Nah, you thought I was going to join. <laughs> I really Joke's was, on you. It probably sounded stupid. So Sorry, guys. It's Ty's fault. It is my fault. She was Hi. waiting for me to uh, continue the I'm joke. I'm just staring at him, and he's like looking at me with like side eyes, and he's like, I'm not going to do it. I or I to, might. But I didn't want to. But then I wanted to. But anywho, cello. Hello, mateys. Hello, Bobit. What's your name? I don't have one today. My name is It. Okay, It. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Katie. They just closed the door. <laughs> that was creepy. So as you, as normal, the dogs are fighting because that's what they do down here. But they just literally closed our open door and they just stared as at yeah, it as it closed and they were like trying to come around to open it back up but it didn't happen and it closed now you're locked in here permanently now you're trapped forever no my name is ty oh i thought i was gonna call you it or no, can i can continue to call you lur Ooh, lur works i'm down for that it's like kind of like lurch lurch, lurch. what are you saying i'm tall and scary and you have to say you rang you rang. Is that good? Mm, it was okay. Hater. How was your week? Well, shitty now because I'm supposed to be off for two more days and I got to freaking work tonight because I missed my training thing last week because I was sick with the uh, allergies pretty bad. So I missed it and now I got to do it today. And this week is the last freaking week. So now I got to go in today on my seven days off. So. Not super stoked about that. And then I'm off tomorrow. And then I got to start my double on Friday. So this is going to be a crappy week. Well, well, at least I'm off Monday, next Monday. But I'm going to try to pick up. So Because we're trying to pay bills. Technically going to be working eight days. Aww. Almost straight. But I get like Poor a break baby. in between. Poor baby. I know. It's terrible. Yeah, but you stay up for like 40 hours. And then. Not during my work week, I don't. Because I can't. I have to sleep for three and a half hours. But that's my fun time. How was, is, or going to be your week? It's been busy. Normal shit at work. Meetings, travel being a shit show. People just not thinking through things. You know, the normal. It's... I I think it's just been uh, your meetings because you have 50 trillion meetings a day. Actually, this week is not too bad. Okay. I've only had a few. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm okay. In your eyes, a few is like 500. But what is a typical day? It's like 1,000? No, it's like 5,000. I don't know. It's like you have back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back meetings. And y'all should yell at her because when she has so many meetings, guess what? She doesn't take a lunchies. I do. No, you don't. This is like late. Oh, you don't. She's lying. Don't believe her. She's lying directly to my face. Oh, somebody got upset. Oh, that was cute. Um, Yeah, I think you guys should have a drinking game now going forward that every time you hear the dogs fight, you need to, like, take a shot. Oh, there you go. That would be a good game. <laughs> You'll be hammered by the time this... Like uh, five minutes in. Shit, that's like the 20th shot. And Lala's sitting here watching because she's, she's a just badass. She's watching, like, observing, being like the general. She doesn't want to be involved, but she's just looking at it. She's anyway. the queen. But, yeah, that's my week. Nothing really special. I got my, like, test results back for my blood work, and I'm estrogeny. Estrogeny. I think she's supposed to be a guy. So she can't Should have, have been. I should just start taking a bunch of testosterone. I told you that. You don't want to listen to me. You're not so. a doctor. I don't need to be, but that's kind of obvious. If you can't have estrogen, what else can you get? Testosterone. Duh. Okay, Dr. Lur, like... Uh, <laughs> geez, listen to me sometimes. We should have a new Maybe. segment called Ask Dr. Lur, and uh, it's just like you give your medical advice, which has no grounds or anything. No, but it could be true, though. Watch people do it, and like, miraculously, everything changes. Oh, my God, you'd be like Dr. Phil, who's exactly. not actually a doctor. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Then why is he called... You can't be called Dr. Phil if you're not... I can call he, myself he does doctor. He have a PhD. Not in... Medical shit. 
It does he's not that's not that kind of doctor, babe. PhD it, does not make you a doctor like gives a, you a pretty huge dick. It does not give you like a doctor like a medical doctor. He's just a doctor because he has his PhD in what is like, he psychology or whatever. Which we, I think there was a discussion on another podcast. I don't remember which one was talking about how Doctor Phil has no doc- doctorate at all. He he's has a, to. Not necessarily. Yes, necessarily. No. I think you should look it up. I think you should look it up. You can find it faster than I can. I'm pretty sure he has a doctorate in something. Is Dr. Phil... Does Dr. Phil have a PhD? You don't have to say, is Dr. Dr. Phil a doctor? Overview. Damn, you got married twice. Oh, yeah. He's rich. Dr. Phil is not a doctor. He plays one on TV. I think that's a lie. You're a lie. Uh, he has a PhD in something. He holds a doctorate in psychology. Thank you. That's but he's what not I was a doctor. About. Babe, it just said he has a doctorate in PhD. You were talking about a doctor like a medical doctor. That's not only doctors out there, babe. If Fine. you get your PhD, it's like something, something doctorate. So he's a doctor, just not a medical doctor. Well, that was the argument of the day. He has a doctorate. A doc- doctorate. Do- it's a doctorate now. A doctorate. How um, many shots anywho. are you guys down because the dogs are fighting next to us? Oh, there's Feecee. Feecee? My teeth are Feecee. Feecee. So we have a feces in our... <laughs> <laughs> they poop enough. <laughs> they she do. poops inside all the time, so... Arrow looks scary when he's fighting. Oh, look at him. They're so cute. Anyway, um, so, like, shall we get Dr. into Phil it? Dr. does have a doctor. Are you done? Are you done? Uh, are you done? That's how you do <laughs> <laughs> How hard can we shake our heads at each no, other? No, I am not getting a headache. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about our movie. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh. That's not accurate. <laughs> uh, Morbius. Do you want to read it or do you want my, me to? You can read it. I fucked up the last time. Wow. I know. No, I'll read it. I was waiting. I was like, oh, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Just kidding. Morbius. So the trailer is three minutes and five seconds. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> Lala, can you stop staring at me, please? She's um, listening intently. Let's see. Where do I usually start? Wow. Seriously? So Morbius, PG-13. Wow. Came out in 2022. Action fantasy, an hour and 44 minutes. We have a 5.2 out of 10 on IMDb. Wow, 16% on Rotten Potatoes. That's pretty low. And 35% Metacritic. But 64% like this movie Google users. How much was IMDb again? 5.2. What about Rotten Potatoes? 16%. Maybe you should listen. I'm sorry I was distracted by like Arrow's head slamming into the wall. It was funny. Again, maybe... You should listen. Huh? Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Huh? (laughs) So, synopsi. Penis penis. Dangerously ill with a rare blood disorder and determined to save others from the same fate, Dr. Morbius attempts a desperate gamble. Wow, that's a five big (laughs) shots right there. Uh, While at first it seems to be a radical success, a darkness inside of him is soon unleashed. Release date was April 1st, 2022, USA. It's just there, so I read it. (laughs) Director is Daniel Espinosa. Distributed by Sony Pictures Releasing, because Sony now owns uh, Marvel. Um, Oh, really? Mm. Yes, they do. Uh, Or they bought, bought Marvel, or whatever the case is. But Sony is, they're in charge of Marvel now. Um, distri- oh, no. Distributed by Sony Pictures Releasing Based on Marvel Comics Box office was 163.9 million buckaroos I think it made, I think it was a pretty good success Yeah, but people scored it terribly Yeah, they did Well, I heard like this little On Instagram, it's like some rap page that I follow They just blurt out like random freaking uh, 
things that are happening, whether they're true or not. I don't know because I don't. Sometimes I don't check them. But they said at first it was like one week. They said Morbius was like did very bad in the box office. Like a lot of people were talking shit about the movie, and then like the next week. It was like, oh, Morbius is a big hit. Like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, so which one is it? <laughs> Choose a side. Choose a you know, motherfucking side. It's like when people are yes men and they just listen and say whatever you say. So if I said, oh, it was terrible, you were like, yeah, it was really terrible. But then if I was like, oh, actually, I really like it. And you'd be like, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> See, I don't believe in that. I listen or watch things for my own. Michael Keaton? Who was Michael Keaton in this? Oh, yeah, he was at the end. He was the Falcon. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> um, so, cast, we have Jared Leto, Morbius. We have Matt Smith, who was the brother, or the, his best friend, who was like his brother. Milo. I don't know how to say his name in the movie. We have Michael Keaton, who y'all know if y'all watch. There was actually a Lucian. double... What? Lucian was Milo's name, but he went by Milo, and everybody called him it Milo. It wasn't Lucian. It's L O X I A. S. It's not Lucius. Lucius. How is that Lucius? It's L O X. That's how it's spelled. No. Lucian. Lucian is L U C, babe. Like the lichen on Underworld. His name was Lucian. Yeah, but sometimes you can spell shit no, funny. No, that's not how you say it. Like spelling um, your name with a K. Then we have Michael Keaton for y'all who did see the movie. Spoiler alert for those who didn't, which you Stop should not this be listening and watch it to now. this podcast. Anyway, if you haven't seen it yet. Because there was actually two after credit scenes in this one. The first time ever I've seen that. On a Marvel. Usually it's on only Mar- one. Yeah, usually so only got- one. But this one had dose. Um, and it was actually <laughs> Michael Keaton at the end. And, of course, it was another um, Spider-Man, Spider-Verse. Uh, what's the other one? The Doctor Strange multiverse shit. So, apparently it's supposed to be like a collab with, I guess, like all of them. And then we have Andrea something. She was the doctor's friend, I think. We have Tyrese Gibson, who was Simon Shrewd. And then Jared Harris. And then last guy is Al Madridal, Madrigal, who was the other um, <laughs> the other uh, agent. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, first question was Morbius a flop. I don't know. Well, it doesn't say it was a flop. I think it was good. They have it in like weird. Was also a. Oh, no, wait. The second opening weekend of Morbius also was also a flop with a film recouping only 260,990 euros, I think. It looks like an E. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's euros. And a tragic twist of films poor release showing was also predicted by Twitter users, maybe. The only universe Sony should be paying attention to is this one. I don't know what that means. Anyway. <laughs> it was All like right. back and forth. It was like flop, not flop, flop, not flop. Make a decision and stick to I it. I know, man. yeah. Make a decision and freaking stick to it. Because uh, we'll say at the end what we think. So, again, if you have not watched it and you don't want spoilers, please stop this movie. Since it's newer and you may not have had the opportunity to watch it, go and watch it. You can watch it on Redbox and Amazon Prime by renting Animazon? it. Amazon? You know what? I am tired. Holy, take another shot, guys. Yep, take another five shots. Um, y'all are going to be wasted, so yeah, you might not remember the Hammer, end. yeah, you might not even remember this podcast. <laughs> okay, so I want to discuss the opening scene, if our dogs allow us to talk. Hey, children, calm down for a bit. Thank you. Um, so the opening credits were in a very 80s-esque, do you remember that? Like, it was 80s themed. It was really kind of cool, opening and ending credits. Do you remember that? 80s themed? Like, the colors were different, and it would phase in and out like the 80s, kind of like, like Stranger Things, how they phase in and out, kind of. No, I don't remember. Okay. Well, we watched this a little bit ago, so. Yeah, we watched it like a week ago almost. Yeah, but so it's old school, like the 80s. I thought that was very unique, I guess, bringing back old school stuff. And I was thinking maybe it kind of tied in with the thought of being a vampire. You're timeless. And so you're just looking at me. Because <laughs> I'm trying to think about what you're talking about. You 
It's like the opening credits. Like they're very old schooly and. I, I, like, I went to watch that again tonight because I do not remember that. Okay, well, fine. I think you're making up stuff. I'm not making up stuff because I took notes. Right, Lala. Right, Lala. She's like, <laughs> I don't want to be involved. Um, so the opening scene, Dr. Morbius is in Costa Rica. And do you remember what you said about Costa Rica? It's very lovely. And you want to go. And then as soon as I said, what one word that you hate? Uh, the jungle, nature, insects, insects, stuff. bugs. You're like, never mind. I don't want to go. Fuck that. Nope. I six me like hiking. I like being outdoors, but this motherfucker. Yeah. So you can get your blood sucked by like a mosquito the size of your hand. That's why you use bug spray and dress accordingly. I'm pretty sure bug spray is not going to scare off a mosquito the size of your freaking hand. Well, we'll try it. Okay, you can. I'm just going to push you out there and see <laughs> no, what happens. No, fuck no. I'm going to push you out there. You like getting bit by big-ass mosquitoes. I, do, I don't because I scar and I look like I there have like go. small pox. But yet the one who loves nature to death. I do. I used to go hiking all the time. We'll go. And then we no only had stopping you. When we had one dog, I could go hiking with her. But now we have three and that's impossible. Well, you can take one, then take a break, take the other one, take a break, take like each day. And then there we go. They have their walk for the week. You have your walk three times a week and everybody will be happy. Are you calling me fat? Uh, if you take it that way, no. <laughs> <laughs> you take it that way. No. Um, so we're at we're in Costa Rica and Morbius is engulfed in bats is that how we say after it? he sliced his hand open but yes. i mean first and foremost that's not how vampire bats function and they don't only drink blood like come they on don't. he didn't ever said they only drink blood but yeah. they're attracted to blood you're attracted to blood i like the part where he said they were like yay big but they can take down something like what 10 times their size there was something i, th- I can't remember in panama Maybe, maybe Mexico somewhere. I don't know. There's a story where these farmers had their animals killed and there was only like two puncture wounds, like very small puncture wounds and the animal was dead. And they're like, what happened? I can understand if it was a swarm, a a flock, uh, a swarm, a murder of bats, a flock, a herd, a murder of bats. What is it? What is the grouping of bats? (laughs) Let's learn something today. A murder of bats. Your guess is murder. <laughs> Did you know, wait, a uh, murder of crows, but it, a raven is called an unkind. A murder of unkind? No. What do you mean? So, you know, a murder of crows, right? Yeah, it's a lot of crows. Okay. The same grouping for ravens are an unkind. They're just called an unkind? Yeah. That's weird. That doesn't make You're any weird. sense. Um, Whoever named what that should be is slapped a in the face. group of pandas called? I kind of want to know what that is. Of course you want to know what that is. All right. A group of bats is a colony. A colony. Yeah. I like murder of bats better because they're going to murder something. I want to see. A what murder of crows don't murder anything. They just fly around. I want to see what a panda doesn't say. Embarrassment. A murder of embarrassment? Oh, my God. No, a group of pandas. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's right. Anyway, so <laughs> they're in Costa Rica. Uh, I don't really get the beginning part because then he goes back to the hospital. And then we have a flashback to his childhood where he fixes Milo, who's actually named Lucian. It is not Lucian. His name was Lucian. It is not. That's not how it's spelled. I remember because I was like, huh. That's fun. Maybe they just fucked up the spelling. No. Okay. That makes a okay. lot of sense. Okay. I think you heard wrong. It's not I think Lucian. You... Lucian. That's L-U, babe. Lucian. Not lotion. Put the lotion on the skin or else you get the hose again. We're just... If anything, it's lotion because it's L-O. Okay. So we're going to call him lotion. There Can... we go. Are we happy? Is that an lotion. agreement? Yes. So lotion. Uh, lotion goes into... <laughs> <laughs> i can't no it's lotion it's not right, lotion. Lo- is he like what is or it? just call him low there we go 
I can't. Lotion. I, we got to continue with okay. lotion. Uh, lotion. So lotion is. has a heart something or other, and he goes into AFib, I'm guessing, because I am I watch Grey's Anatomy. Um, and so Morbius, Michael Morbius, saves his life by fixing the machine with a ballpoint pen spring. Mm-hmm. And then I guess his pseudo dad, I forgot what the guy's name is called, Noah? Simon? Simon? Sure. What's the do- doctor who's helping the kids? Oh, no, it's on your phone under the cast. Uh, you suck at remembering. I said it earlier, but I'm not going to remember. You need to remember. I think it's Simon. Cast. I think it's raining again. Yeah, we are having a storm right now. Morbius's mentor. It doesn't say his name. It says Morbius's mentor. Really, fucker. Thanks. Wait, I gotta go back. What are you gonna go back for? Because it says literally. It was still on there. <laughs> Jared Harris. Just call That's him by his, his real name. Real name. Okay, so Jared uh. Harris is like, man, you're really gifted. Let's send you to America. <laughs> he just did it like that. Did exactly like that? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, please. And so Morbius leaves Lotion and goes and like sends him a letter. And then the kid beats the shit out of the other kids who steal his letter. Letter. Well, it's his fault. He let it fly out but the, the window. Can, you, can I just like state something that the kid's real name is Lotion. His kid's real name is Lotion, right? And Morbius calls him Milo, which is not his real name. It's one of his previous buddies, I guess, that went to that hospital or whatever. But then I guess they left or died or whatever. And so he had multiple Milos. And so this last kid, Lotion, becomes Milo. Mm -hmm. And everybody calls him Milo. And it just happens throughout his entire fucking life. So he's an adult now, and everybody just calls him Milo. That's just what his name is. Some people get nicknames, and they stick with them. That is not... Lotion is a nickname. No, that's his real name. Sure. In the movie, it's his real name. Milo is his cute little... It's like when you call someone... Yeah, I wrote it. Lucian. But I spelled it... Yeah, you spelled it like... See, that's Lucian. That's not how his name is spelled, babe. Go look at it again. If you don't believe me, it's L-O-X-I-A-S. All right, we're still going to call him Lotion, but I'm just saying... It's like lo- uh, Lox. And I put Loxius. Michael goes to a gifted school. He's a stupid genius. <laughs> Why is he a stupid genius? I just it's like made me like, oh man, you're stupid smart. Meaning you're really smart. Oh, he is. Was, a stu- he is a genius. That was funny. Um, and so this movie started, and I was like, oh, are you from the DC universe? Because you're so dark. It like, is dark. <laughs> but this is again why Marvel is phenomenal like because it brings in other characteristics and everything which we'll get to um so let's go he's back at the his office he's an adult now he won many nobel prize awards i guess and they are sorry ty's trying to adjust what are they doing anyway um so he is a doctor he's just trying to fix these people and we're just trying to do a podcast dogs can you guys stop and so he's back here he helps a little girl and then he has this like tunnel of bats in his office which i really don't think is hygienic for a hospital to have well he has them in a like airtight sealed container that is like 30 feet tall still but it's the flock or a murder of bats I like murder of bats. Sounds so much better than flock. Well, it's a colony. It's a colony. Oh, yeah, a colony. Patooey. I just spit on that name. I don't know how to deal with you right now. <laughs> um, so well, he's he... got to get the blood somehow and synthesize. Syn- synthesize. 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 <laughs> Words are hard. Uh, so then we're talking about mixing animal DNA with human. I like seriously volunteer on that. I volunteer too, especially with a vampire bat. Um, so if anyone out there doing it, please hit us up. We'll be your first volunteers. I'm very broken. So I mean, I would be a good one. And then we can be like Morbius. That'd be dope. 
fly around. Or better than Morbius, because maybe we have the actual power to fly. He does too. No, he flies on the 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 wind the waves. Turns. That's the, how yeah, bats wind. fly. Bats can't fly. You know that they soar. Well, that's what he's Sky doing. Rockets in flight. He's soaring. And it's dope. Because the, the rule is, like, my pa- my mom used to live in the country, and there was, like, she always told me, if you have a bat in the house, hit it on the ground because it can't get up, and then you can catch it. I'm like, okay. Because they can't lift off. They have to have something to let them get the current. So they just, like, walk around. That is creepy. Like, have a bat walking towards you slowly. That would be, be scary. I would <laughs> run, for sure. I Unless like it's a bats. vampire bat, then I'll let it bite me. <laughs> I'll be chasing him around Come back. Like, and it's Come like back. running from me like get the fuck away <laughs> oh what are you <laughs> psycho bats, bats, he's gonna eat me <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious uh, so then uh, they test on these mice and the mice the mouse dies and it's like 117 is the failure then I'm questioning if we're in the same situation let's say we're actually just a big in a big laboratory what number am i and would i be a failure you know i mean if you're the first test and you failed then there would be a number two (laughs) but in the grand scheme of things like what number am i on this earth if the earth was like a big petri dish freaking 20 billion no, we have 7 billion people on Earth right yeah, now. Yeah, but babe, how long has this Earth been here for? For millions, millions of years. years. So probably well, like 50 billion. Like maybe 50 gajillion trillion. Okay, I don't know about all that. You know, like 50 billion would be a lot. Currently in the world, we have 7 billion people. Yeah. Okay. I don't think you understand my point. I do understand. That's why I said you're probably like the 50 billion person currently alive we're not counting the dead ones yet so there's oh, a, a you're just lot more about the seven billion alive right now what number yeah. are you oh you no. about like over the millions of well years. no i mean over the millions of years what number i'm not gonna be 50 billion because currently alive right now is about seven billion so it has to be a bigger number than seven billion or 50 I said billion 50 billion that is a bigger number than seven I don't think you understand what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about, but you don't understand what I'm talking about. I don't about. think you... I think... Okay, then it's 700 billion. Is that better? Sure. Okay. Continue. It's definitely not. Your face. Yo, fuck you. <laughs> um, so, the funny thing throughout this movie is... I didn't know who Jared Leto was. I don't. Still don't. He's Joker from Suicide Squad. Oh. I keep well, on reminding look, you. Yeah, you do. He doesn't look like that because he doesn't have short green hair with a white face. And then he has like, like what is it? Grills? Yeah, so I Grills. didn't know that. But he is, and he's had like a bunch of other things. I mean, he's okay looking, but what I really like about Jared Leto is he has a nice, so- like, soothing voice. When he talks, it's very calming. And I really want him to, like, read a story to me. Maybe he will. Just write him. Like, Jared, are you listening? Like, we wrote uh, Ryan Reynolds, and he never came to our wedding. (laughs) We're still bitter about that, sir. Yeah, a little bit. But he should read books. (laughs) We went to his wedding. Just say yes. Just say yes. Yeah, sure. It was gorgeous. Blake, you're beautiful. (laughs) Um, So then the mouse comes back to life. Yay, it's a success. And then they go on a boat. Wait, was that on the boat? No, that was before they got on a boat. And so he got his best friend Milo or Lotion to buy a boat. Um, well, rent a boat and have these like mercenary people on there to, I guess, drive it. I don't know why the mercs were on there. Because he needed protection. He didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah, but they sucked at it because they're dickheads. Well, that's usually what mercenaries are. They're dickheads. They're hired guns. Oh, they sucked at their job because they died. Whoa, well, they um, fought a vampire, babe. You really expect them to win? Yes. <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, just kidding. But with that, I just find it funny that they made this serum. And then without really trying it again, <laughs> they just inject uh, Morbius. And what do you mean? Like. They had a one mouse. They come. had the trials. They tested on the mouse, and they tested it right before they actually did it. They did two tests on the computer. 
Both on the computer. Said, <laughs> both of them said it was a stable compatibility. Okay, so they give it to him. A, he looked real scary. He Someone was, needs to pay attention to the movie. You need to, because you think lotion. Anyway, name. continue. Um, pay so, attention. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're on the boat. The lady doctor gives the medicine to Morbius, and they latch You're him down. You're forgetting the most important part of this bit. She gave him a shot in his fucking spine. Oh, uh, I blocked it out. <laughs> like the seventh lumbar. Like right in there. Like oh. You know, like, okay, have you ever thought about like getting an injection in your spine? No, how, I don't want to. Like you have to get it in between the, the, mm. the bones, the spine bones. If you don't, it will scrape. Ugh. No, it, that was that was that was terrible. Why did they have to show that? They could have left that part out. No, they couldn't have. That's part of the movie. <laughs> they could have left it out. Yeah, I never like if you had a shot in the spine, I do not envy you. I heard it's very painful. I will <sighs> give you props to no other props of props because I could not do that unless I absolutely have to, which I pray that never happens. Because uh, that's how like pregnant ladies get the epidural. Oh, yeah. They have to stab them in but the But that back. was in a lower back. It's like closer it's all, to their it's all the back, babe. It's a back. They don't get a shot every single lumbar in the back. Yeah, That'll be a stab them all <laughs> They wouldn't survive. <laughs> <laughs> they're already in a lot of pain because of this baby coming out of their like nether now they're regions. Getting stabbed in each part of their <laughs> Just spine. Just make it worse. <laughs> Jesus, no, fuck no. Oh god. Um. Now you can continue. Now that we got the you? spine thing out the way. Are you sure? Remember, seventh lumbar needle. And it was a big needle, too. It wasn't yeah, like it a baby needle. It was like the fucking size of my pinky. I thought you were going to say penis. And I was like, <laughs> that's pretty small. <laughs> that's why I didn't say that. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't say that at all because it's um, way bigger. The needle. But, so I <laughs> put, he got an injection in his spine. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Triple ew. So what was kind of smart on their part was they kind of blocked off the area where he got the shot. So he's locked in this area. It was a pretty tough little glass case. Yeah, too. that was smart. He hit them. it like six times before it broke. Because you wouldn't really know what combining your DNA with an animal's DNA would make you do in case you were like stupid smart. Oh, well, yeah, because like, there was no the, – the mouse didn't show any like vam, vampiric – features it was just alive. that we saw he could have well after they showed it a lot they never showed it again so it'd be funny if it started to look like a bat like morbius does and he's like <laughs> he did look kind of scary when he turned into a bat but his nose got like shoved in and it's like squishy like a pug cool, face though. i would like that for me to look do you want me to bat. punch your face so it's like sure whatever in. makes you happy babe squished in like a bat um it's kind of have you you've seen the Family Guy episode where Stewie has Brian's baby and the babies come out all like I haven't seen that one. You told me about up. that, but I haven't seen it. That, that just reminds me of that, and I just think it's funny because that's probably what would happen if that did happen. But of course, what if you had babies with a vampire? No, if you oh. got it, like your DNA mixed with an animal DNA, and they would, and you come out like toe up. From the floor. He did come out toe up. But he came out cool toe up because he transformed himself and then he was super healthy and then he fast. Can fast. He can, he can close his eyes and catch a ball. I can't even catch it with my eyes open. <laughs> That's terrible. You're terrible. Sometimes. Um and so do 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 he can, he's buff now and he can walk. And the first thing, if I was a fellow doctor of his and he went to the hospital, I'd be like, dude something different about you you don't have crutches what's up and be like can i have that he did have crutches when he was left his office when he was already in trouble he uh when they yeah. thought that they he killed the nurse which i'm so glad he did because i was gonna be pissed at him that made me sad um they uh he was walking with the crutches out and they're like you look uh what did he say? he said like a a big word i don't even know what the word was the i can't remember not, I know you're not tyrese but the other one fuck what did he say Basically, he looked healthy. very healthy. <laughs> it's like, I have my good days and I have my bad days. Yeah, today's one of the good days. <laughs> so, kind of backing up a little bit. While he's in the office, he's trying to go. He's, Which is very smart. He was timing himself between feedings to see what 
How long it took. How long it took. And his synthetic blood formula helped sustain him, which is really cool. It's kind of a mix between true blood and Morbius, I guess, because true blood had the synthetic blood. They did? Remember true blood? That's what it's called. Synthetic blood? Yeah, they like remember they drink it at the bar and oh, they heat it up yeah. in a microwave. And oh, yeah, it's called True Blood. It's literally <laughs> called True Blood. C C C C. Anyway, so it's kind of like that. But then his friend Milo or Lotion comes and he's like, "What's up? You're filthy. I want to be like you." And so the fucker steals the. I don't think they showed him stealing. No, it. they didn't. But he had to have. Yeah, he had to have. He, like there was. How else would he get it? And so, enter our villain. You would think it's kind of slightly Morbius, but he is our, what is it called? Um, He's our superhero villain. What's it called? Pseudo villain? Pseudo villain? Sure, yeah. Oh, fuck. I forgot. There's a word for it. I can't really think. A hero, uh, asymmetrical hero? No. I can't remember my words, so forgive me. Um, but it's like where they're dark. Like, it's like Batman. He's like a dark hero. Yeah. Anyway. So we have Morbius, who's the good guy. He doesn't want to kill, and so he's trying to avoid it at all costs, even though he killed, like, a slew of men on the boat. Yeah, and then, because they hurt his, like, girlfriend. girlfriend yeah. But, and they were shooting at him. Why You would kill them, too. What do you mean? And so now I marked something here saying he's the real Batman. <laughs> did you... Jeez, you wrote a lot. I did. I, like, Is this that all a, the same movie? Yeah. Oh, you're already on the back page. Yeah. Is that the back page? This is the back page. Oh. Uh, did you write the part what he says when uh, they're like, who are you? I'm Venom. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I like Marvel because Marvel will interact with other, like, I guess, uh, universes. And so kind of like Spider-Man, kind of like Venom, they all mix together. Met, yeah, mix together. And I love that about Marvel because... It's better than DC. Well, they already showed at the end that they're going to be mixed with Spider-Man. Right. Spider-Man is apparently the key to all of this. And so, and then this is where I'm like, oh, no, don't kill the nurse. And the nurse already died. Um, and they assume it's Morbius because he's like the associated. So far. Yeah, he's associated with the boat. And then he's associated at the hospital. And well, so they he just works at the hospital. Associated. Same thing. Is it? He goes to the hospital frequently, so people know him from the hospital. So he is associated with the he hospital. He works at the hospital. It's different of being associated in a worker or employee. He probably banks. owns the fucking hospital. He probably does. So <laughs> he probably does own it. Shut up. Um, so there was a oh so when the nurse is walking down the ho- like down the hallway and you don't really hear or see anything yet but you know when she was walking she got scared mm-hmm. and then she started walking faster i put in here and um, have you ever just scared yourself um more so like a kid because i would go in the basement and then i would be like changing laundry or doing something down in the basement and then i would fr- freaking scare myself and then dart up the stairs like something was chasing after me no i never did that are you one i don't have a basement I lived in an apartment. That doesn't have life. to be like it could be something outside or it could be anything. You just didn't scare. Okay, well, I'm not a pansy like you. Fuck off. <laughs> Me, I won't go in a haunted place because I won't go in a haunted place because I stay away from scary shit. And so I feel bad. The nurse dies, and then I, I mentioned something here when he's flying around. He's dusty. <laughs> Who's Dusty? Morbius. Why is he Dusty? Because when he moves really fast, like, it has, oh, like, it a, has like the, the the waves behind him. Yeah, but it looks Dusty. Okay, but. I want to know why they drew him like that, though. I don't know. We have to read the comics. Maybe it's in the comics. You have to read the comics. I think that's him moving, like, very fast. And that's how they show us... Sh- it's just like in the Flash, you know how they slow everything down. They have like his little streak behind him. That's his streak. Streak. That's what I was trying to think of. Mm. Streak. That's his. That's his version of it. Oh sure. Yeah sure. Your face. And then the detective. He's the one with the holy water, right? Yeah. And it's triple blessed. Yeah, triple blessed. <laughs> he's like, you can't be too sure. <laughs> uh, can, can I? vial of holy water be triple blessed i don't understand like if it's blessed once it's all it needs right 
No. You, there's nothing wrong with triple blessing it. They even quadruple bless it. What would that do any different? I don't know if it's going to be more power. It's supposed to be more powerful, I guess. But I'm pretty so, sure holy water wouldn't work on him. Uh, yeah. Because he's not a vampire. He's a vampire bat. He's from a bat. Yeah. I mean, he still so, drinks blood and everything. But. I want to know if the triple... <laughs> Because then, what about Edward Cullen? If you throw the vial of triple blessed water at him, would it burn? I mean, he is a vampire, but in that movie, the the rules were different. They can be in the sunlight. Normally, vampires can't be in the sunlight. Morbius can be in the sunlight. Because he's not a vampire. He's from a vampire bat. He's a vampire. Bats can be in the sunlight, can't they? Maybe. They don't like it. How do you know? You know a bat? Are you They're friends nocturnal. with one? Are you best friends with a bat? Yes. <laughs> yes. My buddy Barry. That's your bat's name is Barry? <laughs> Think of anything. Of else. all names, you called it Barry. Barry the bat. You could have gave like a more like hardcore name, like Bruce. Lucian. <laughs> it has to be a B name. Barry. Bur- Bernice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so great. Oh, my vampire bat, Barry. <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. That's funny. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, the guy asked, what did you do to yourself? And the police, which is very shocking that the police believed the myths. So they're aware that it's something strange is afoot. And that's why he has the holy water. And he's well, they said, water. you know, every victim they found, their blood was drained from their body. So, And apparently he can drink blood pretty freaking fast. Yeah, he killed those people pretty. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> done. He didn't even need a silly straw. Yeah, he just used his teeth with the... But they, the teeth have tiny holes at the bottom. How can you suck out blood that fast? I don't think they have tiny holes at the bottom. Well, they suck it like through their they mouth. They puncture the the holes in there, and then they just. All vampire things I've seen, they've had holes at the end I of their teeth. I don't think that's true. Look it up. I don't. And they suck up the blood through their teeth. I feel very sad. That's <laughs> how they do it, babe. I think that's the way it was in. Uh... Some movie or show that I saw, that they, that's how they did it. In that movie or show, maybe. But not... But... You bite, and then you suck. I don't think that's how it happens. I think it was a cartoon, babe, that you watched It wasn't on. a cartoon. It was <laughs> yes, a movie. I will find it after this, and I'll show you. And so, we're going to move forward. Um, we... Uh, Morbius gets put to prison and then Lucian comes or Lotion comes into the mix and he pretends to be broken, but then he leaves his cane and he walks away Mm -hmm. and it's like, uh Oh, then that's when we know Morbius knows. And so then Morbius freaks out, breaks out of jail. Everybody's freaking out. I mean, first and foremost, if I was that guard at the prison, I'd be like, fuck this shit. Bye. He's like, he just broke through a prison wall. Like, yeah, yeah no. and it's bulletproof glass. Like, you can't, let's. He's like, I'm good. I'm, I'm done. Good. He so, can, I quit. I'm resigning. <laughs> bye. Here's my, bye. Here's my gun. No, I'm going to keep my gun, but here's my badge. Bye. Yeah, toodles. <laughs> so. Something as strange as a foot. Then uh, Morbius chases after Lotion. They fight. Lotion kills a bunch of police officers. Like, in a matter of five seconds. So. Just comparing the two, Morbius is a very intelligent human being, and he thinks about how to hone his skills, whereas Lotion just, just aggresses. Balls to the wall. Balls to the wall, attacks. He doesn't really think about it. So that's where Morbius has his like sonar. He ha- he can learns how to fly in the, the, the tunnel, mm-hmm. uh, the subway tunnels, and that's where it kind of progresses forward. But the sad part is he's also weaker than Milo because he's He doesn't not, drink normal blood. He's drinking synthetic blood that wears off. <laughs> and in this uh, during that scene when he's fighting uh Lotion in the the subway tunnels, I put I wonder if bats have fights just like with each other. I'm sure they do. They argue like they do. They're like fuck you buddy, no fuck you buddy. And they attack each other mm. with their bat fangs. 
And then when and the Morbius learns to fly, and then it's definitely very similar to the storyline of Spider-Man and the Green Goblin. Um, back in like one of the first Spider-Mans with Tobey Maguire and fuck her face. What's his face? Um, James, what's his face? James, James Franco. Yeah. Right. He was a Green Goblin. Um, so it's kind of like that friendship where we have a good superhero and then we have a bad, like a superhero, but he's bad now because he's jaded by just being around the world. Milo? Yeah. Milo's pissed off at the world because he was picked on as a kid and now he's got, he's been crippled his whole life. Now he has all this power. So he's like, fuck everybody. And so... Uh, Morbius leaves and goes and visits the lady doctor. I cannot remember her name. And she, they're sitting there in the dining room where, um, like not dining room, a diner. And those two dudes come in and they hand her a wad of money. And the lady's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's well, because it was fake. Soup's fake. Like it she didn't, they like, didn't even try. It was black. Yeah. You could even tell. Like, the- it was like. It was like a dark green. Yeah, it was terrible. Like, poor counterfeit money-making skills they have. Yeah, and so this is where Morbius follows them to their laboratory. And then, because he needs a place to work and everything. And so that's where they go. They follow these guys to their fake make money-making lab, I guess. And this is where he attacks the guy. And he's like, who are you? And he's like, I am Venom. That's when it I am Venom. <laughs> and uh um, so they didn't make the face like that like half half good face half vampire face i still want my venom tattoo i think that would be fun well we're gonna get it or you're gonna get it yeah because i want a uh, venom with a tongue hanging out and then uh deadpool like laying on it sexy style i'm gonna get a morbius tattoo i want a vampire on me okay yeah are you sure you don't want edward cullen or I gotta have both, but like clash of Morbius versus Edward Cullen. <laughs> and have him like sparkling like diamonds. <laughs> Shine like a diamond. Uh but I like have Morbius continued. I wrote a lot of notes on this one. Jesus. Um do 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 do. I did it do. Sorry. Wow, any time of day there, Junior. You know what? You could be taking notes as well and reading. I don't need to take notes. I don't know what you're saying over there. Wasn't that many note taking movie parts? I just like it. I like. Anyway, they fight. Um, the girl gets killed by lotion. Sort of. Sort of. And they have an epic battle that ends in lotion dying. And Morbius is alive and he's upset that he's sat like by himself. But and that's pretty much it. That's the ending. No, it's not. Wait, I'm not like the movie movie. But then uh, Dr. Lady comes back. She does with red eyes. She's like the Volturi. The Volturi. Volturi. From Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> I like how we're associating this vampire with Well, Twilight. you associate all vampires with other vampires. Um, And so I like, those are my notes for this. Uh. At the end, Milo does say he's like he's never done anything. He was just rich. I want to know how he how he got rich. Um, and Morbius gave Milo his name, even though his real name was Lotion. He was like, I like how he apologizes at the end when he's like, he's like, you can't kill me, I'm Milo. Oh yeah. Like what? You did all this terrible Fuck shit. That. You killed their like father, their mentor. You yeah, killed Morbius' hurt. girlfriend. Like, you killed all these cops. You killed all these other people. You killed the nurse. Like, all these innocent people he's, like, taken out. But he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. You can't kill me. What? Bitch, get out of here. Evilness. <laughs> God. So, how do you really feel about that? I'm glad. I wish Morbius would have fucked him up worse. But he did get attacked by a bunch of bats. That was a good way to go. And but he can he hone those them. skills because he's their brother. Well, I think that's why he did that, because he can't pinpoint where Morbius was coming from, because he doesn't have that whole sonar blocking out thing that Morbius has, because he, yeah. didn't, he didn't learn that skill. So I think that's why he also brought the bats to help him, too, so he couldn't figure out where he was coming from to stab him in the heart. 
Fuck Milo. He was cool when he was younger, but then he turned into an evil His bastard. His name is Lotion. Milo. Jerkins. <laughs> Jerkins. <laughs> Cocoa butter. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, definitely watch till the end. Um, there's a couple, what is not spoilers, what are they called? I guess Easter eggs? Trailers? Trailers. Cute. I don't know what you call those. After credit things? Yeah, like as normal Marvel, we're not going to say what happens in those. Those are the treats that you get because we don't want to spoil those. But just be on the lookout for those. Um, score. What's your score, sir? Take a guess. 15. Yes. Even though it's out of 10. <laughs> yes. I'll give it a 10, too. I like Morbius. It was good. I don't know. Like, if you don't like it, maybe watch it again and try it again. But if you haven't watched it yet, definitely watch it. It's definitely worth it. Um, Animals have finally calmed down a little bit. Sort of. Now Arrow's messing with my microphone. Probably needs to go out. Probably. But we're we're getting to the point. Um, Awesome. Now it's for our topic. Topic of the day. Topic of the day. Topic of the what? episode. What are you ridiculously worried about? Oh, uh, yeah. So, fun ridiculousness that I have been worried about in the past, or some, or even current. Um, a past one was uh, randomly combusting into flames. Why would that ever happen? It's ridiculous. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, because you read, like, you hear stories about, like, in the past, like, I think there was a total of 13 different people who randomly died from, what is it, self-combustion? There's a word, there's a phrase for it, where you just burst into flames and you die. Because... Because they're vampires, maybe? No. No, because technically your body acts as a candle because your fat is, like, the wax on a candle, and it just keeps on burning, how did it burn, though? That's a question. What? I don't know. And this is a real thing? This is a real thing. You can, bur- like, burst into flames. Because you know how hot I get sometimes? I'm just like, shit, I could burst into flames right now. I am that hot. Call I mean, you the are that hot. fire department. You're pretty hot. Hey. I would holler at you in a bar. Oh, God. You don't even have to be drunk. I would do it sober. Actually, no, I wouldn't because I'm scared to talk to girls when I'm sober. <laughs> I'm glad you're married to me now. I am. That took you a second. All right, what are you worried about randomly? I don't have I have have a list. I have like a list of shit. Um, Just like stupid things that you could be worried about. I know one for you. What? Like the animals having like random illnesses that they don't have. I always worry about that because there are kids. You don't see it that way, but I do. I love our animals, but the thing is like you touch a bump and I'm like, you're like, oh shit, we have to bring him to the vet. And I'm like, it's just a bump. I'm just making sure. Well, when Fifi, like she had, had millions of bumps on her, that's not good. None of the other dogs have that. So yeah, I have a fear of my animals getting sick or dying too soon. Yes, that is a hardcore fear. That's not ridiculous though. That is ridiculous. Because you think it's ridiculous. I don't think it's ridiculous. I think it's just... Ridiculous. You just said that. You jumped to a conclusion. Your face jumped to a conclusion. Shut up. I mean, I do have one, but I don't want to say it and then jinx myself and it fucking happens. What happened? Don't you have to. Like being asleep and then like something getting in my ear. That is a possibility. Did you know you eat on average 13 spiders a year? Yes. Actually, I think it's more than 13 spiders I think it's more now. I think it's like a month, 13 a month or something. But yeah, that's actually a really good, that's a really good thing because I always freak out that there's something in my ear. Yeah, and I don't like that. So I'm like, sometimes when I sleep, I like cover like this. If like this one's on the pillow and I put my other arm over my other ear. I'm just going to put like a cotton ball in here. No, because you would get (laughs) punched probably on accident. Another weird thing that I'm always like worried about, um, what are they called? What is it? Quicksand. Yeah. That's still, like, a legit thing. That's another or, thing about walking in forests. You could go into quicksand. Quicksand or um, sinkholes. Yeah. Sinkholes, like, happen every or day. Or it could be, like, 120 hours where you fall into a cliff somewhere. Oh, my God. You get a rock stuck on you. I watched. you got to chop your own arm off. I watched that movie on a plane, and I was crying at the end. And I was See? Like, it's a good movie. It's a good you. movie. Good job, James Franco. 
Uh, another, f- another ridiculous fear of mine is, uh, like, bugs, I guess. You're always... A- it's like, not ridiculous, though. That is ridiculous. We do have weird-looking bugs here, though. Exactly. We have tarantulas. Apparently, we have that, like, Texas centipede thing, that yeah. red centipede with mm-hmm. a black tail that, like, bites are pretty painful, sends a poison into you. And we die. No, you don't die, but oh. it's just very painful. I was making a dramatic. Oh, there was a guy that, like, took one and had it bite him, and he said it's, like, one of the worst pains he's ever felt. Oh, from. my God. You know, guys have the worst pains, and, like, there was these... This video where the guys were wearing that thing that simulates cramps, and the guys yeah. are freaking out and falling over, and then the women try it on. They were like, "Oh, I have worse," and the guys are like, "What? Oh, mm-hmm. it's really funny." I would never do it. I like. I think women are hardcore for all the pain that they go like through pregnancies, through cramps, through. I just want to do it to you so shit. we can like compare my pain. Nah, with... I know your pain is more. I'm not even gonna try to say that <laughs> mine's more. I've never once said that either. So no, I'm good. Uh, another one of mine is like I don't get them as often at to make it me worry about it, but I freak out about UTIs. Why? They're not that bad. Bitch. When you get them, it's like you have to go to the bathroom all the time. And my fear is not finding a bathroom. Oh, well. I so mean, it's like it tied into two ridiculous there's bathrooms fears. bathrooms everywhere. But as long as you don't find like a nasty bathroom and don't put toilet paper down. That's, that's, oh. That should be your fear. Getting, Actually, that's probably one of my fears is like going to a public restroom. Getting and burpees. Getting something from a toilet because, like, maybe I didn't cover a certain section of the toilet. See, that's a that's a random ridiculous fear. That's why I put down like layers of toilet paper. Is that why you like take forty five minutes to go to the bathroom? No, it only takes me like a minute to put toilet paper down. I just like that's my that's my time. That's me time. That's my video game. Well, I used to play video games on my phone. I don't play video games on my phone anymore. But that's my like. What is it? My um, sanctuary. There we go. Yeah, including when I'm starving and I'm waiting for you to get ready and you're just sitting on the toilet for 20 minutes. Well, babe, you know, sometimes I got to use it and it just takes time. But that is a hardcore, ridiculously fearsome fear is getting something from the toilet. I'm trying to think of other things. I have like random things that will pop up and I'm like, holy shit. You know, like getting stabbed in the eye. That really freaks me out. That is a little scary. Like, I could trip and fall. Like, the dogs are always walking around our feet. And if I'm holding something sharp and I shove it, shove it in my eye. Mine's, another one of mine is probably, like, getting shot. That's not ridiculous, though. That can happen. All these can happen. Getting stabbed in the eye could happen. You could be playing with scissors and run around the house. <laughs> Wait! This is fun! <laughs> like a 10-year-old and then trip and fall and land on your eyeball. <laughs> I can see you doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you're just like happy and cheerful one day. Okay, no, that'll never happen because you're not cheerful and happy. <laughs> Thank you. How did you know? <laughs> uh, but that's mine. I wouldn't now. say getting shot could happen. Like, I mean, in the world we live in today, yes. Oh, ow, Fifi. I mean, um, but it's like not shot necessarily. It's like. Getting shot in the head or getting shot in the knee. Oh, the knee would hurt. I know it would. That's like, if I'm you like, get shot in the head, at least you'll die, hopefully. See, I don't know. It's like, because you hear stories about people getting shot in the head and they survive. But you also hear stories like, because I saw this one video and it was actually, I think it was on Instagram or something like that. It was these three people in a car and uh, this girl had a gun in her hand and she like kept pointing at the guy in the passenger seat and he was like, don't point that at me. And she's like, what, what, blah, blah, blah. Like, they're, like, joking around with him. Oh, I don't I know I if she knew one. it was loaded or not, but she shoots the guy. And, like, as soon as she shot him, he, like, you know, kind of started convulsing. And I'm like, so I wonder if you get shot in the head, it's just, like, you don't feel anything? Because I don't know. No. I just feel like if you get shot in the head, it's, like, it's not instant. Lights it's out. Like, it's, like, the worst pain or some shit. Like, but I don't your know brain can't happen. feel pain. That's why you were awake when you But have... your skull can... The bone there you could feel, not the brain itself, but all this in front of it, you can. There's a movie called Regarding Henry with Harrison Ford in it. He got shot in the head and he survived. See, that's the thing. You, you can survive getting shot in the head if you get shot in a certain part. Or it's like that one, I don't know how real it is, but it was like that one picture 
It's like uh, the guy woke up with a head egg or something like that, and he has like a bullet like right here, and apparently the wife like shoots him in his sleep, trying to kill him, and he survived. But he has a bullet like I think it's like right around here you somewhere. Know, sorry, that just made me think of another root. I have like I've never had it before, but sleep paralysis freaks me out. You said that. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It freaks me out because I already think of the darkest shit in my waking well, moments. Well, it's gonna happen to you then, because you think of. This Maybe stuff. I'll just get like make homies with like my demons. I'm pretty sure you are homies with your demons. Definitely. You probably would already be like paralyzed right now, but since you're friends with demons, they're probably the ones keeping you like a. They like they give me the sup nod. Like I got you, fam. What up? What are we gonna fight? Like up you're today? still in pain, <laughs> but you can like actually move and function. But without them, you'd be like. I'm sorry. What was that? (laughs) (laughs) He made a weird face of like if I was seizing. (laughs) It's like that. What was that one? You know, there's like movies where like the enemy or whatever was sucks all the soul out of person. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah. Your soul is mine. Like a grandma, but like a bony mummy. That's what you would look like if you didn't have your Bony mummy. Oh, you're calling me skinny. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you're the only one that says that you're fat, so because you're weird. Thanks. And you're not fat, babe. You, just, you can see a whole lot of you because <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing shorts, <laughs> oh. so you can see a lot of your skin. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. You have any more ridiculousness? I mean, I could probably keep naming them. I mean, but they're just fears. Some of them are just fears. They're not really ridiculous. Or dying in my sleep. That's kind of scary. I wouldn't mind that. I'd rather take that than the ladder. I'd rather know. die in my sleep than anything else. It's weird. I'm surprised you didn't say, like, airplane thingies. Airplanes, like, just started to freak me out. Flying in an airplane. I used to be fine. I used to fly out, like, all the time, and I was good. And all of a sudden, like, now, any ty- any type of yeah, turbulence. Yeah, any type of turbulence, you're, like, freaking the freak out. I don't like, I don't know what happened. Planes have turbulence. but Wind, that's what happened. That's what turbulence comes from is wind. I think it's because I watched this video with the Spirit Airlines, and they were, like, going like this, and people were freaking out and flying <laughs> places. Have you, seen, <laughs> have you seen that one? It was, like, uh, I don't know what it was, but it was, person there oh the the pilot of the plane was doing something and you just see this like cartoon plane it's like flapping like this i wish i could find it it looks fucking hilarious because it's like turbulence but it's like this plane is like freaking out dancing and you see then it like goes back to the plane everybody's like screaming and hollering and it goes back to the other one this plane is like it's like flapping like a bird that's what it, it's so freaking see, hilarious. No, I can't. that's the way you look when you're freaking on the plane, you're just like. <laughs> it was I, like when we were flying to Bahamas. I was sitting oh next to that. Like, she looked like she was super young, but I'm pretty sure she was over 18. But she was sitting there. She was like five foot nothing. She was freaking out as much as you. She was literally in like the the fetal, fetal position. position in her chair, and I'm just like, uh, it's not that serious. <laughs> it dropped. It dropped a lot. That freaked me out. I did not like it. And I was trying to read. So. See, that's something to get freaked out about. But like little like that, you're like balls to the wall scared. Mm. It's like any small amount of turbulence, you're just like, babe, hold me. I'm sorry. I want love from you when I'm stressed. <laughs> so fuck you're off. You're always stressed. Extra stressed. You're always extra stress. Go one more time. Extra, 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 extra stress. There you go. That's better. <laughs> All right. I Holy think... shit, an hour and three minutes? Jeez. We we, we talked. <laughs> um, so that is our show today. I well, hope hopefully y'all are drunk because the dogs are playing earlier. If y'all did take shots. And now they're we might start doing that game every single time. So be prepared next time when the dogs are in here and they're fighting. Have a bottle next to you. Have a shot glass. And oh. every time you hear it, and trust me, we'll not do it because you can tell the difference between us doing it and the dogs doing it. Then you get to take a shot. And I want to know how many people got drunk. How many shots you took. Yeah, how many shots you <laughs> took. And if you were a hammer by the time the end of the podcast came. Because that would have been an hour and four minutes of like straight shots. At least for the beginning part. They quieted down now. Yeah, they quiet like probably 30, Now Arrow's being in. really cute and licking Lala's ear. He is. He's being really cute. Um, so that is our show. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next time. 
movie. Do you want to hear what my movie is? I do want to hear your movie. So this one was a one that stressed me out when I was younger, and I'm going to share it now. It's not really scary, so it's more intense. Dante's Peak. Oh, I like Dante's Peak. So you can watch Dante's Peak on Vudu as well as Peacock, and you can Peacock, cock, cock. You Peacock. Uh, you can also rent it on Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime for I think like three ninety nine. So those are your options to watch it. Um, because my movie, it was my turn to choose movie. You get the topic, topic. and the topic of next podcast is drum roll, please. What talent would you want to possess if you could? That's going to be a good topic. What talent would you possess? Because Ari, can we could. name like a few? Or is yeah, it we one? name a few. Fuck, it's our podcast. Who cares? Oh, I thought we were not in charge of this podcast. Who? Lala. Lala, can we have Lala, more than can one? We have more than one. <laughs> she just dead stares at me. She's just like, I think that means a fuck no. <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. Don't eat and me. she bites you in her sleep. <laughs> yeah, so what time would you want to possess if you could? Yeah, so we're probably going to do three each, I would say. Yeah, no more than three, unless we think of more. Unless 50,000. I'm very untalented, so I could probably think I'm of very untalented, so I can think of quite a... I already know what, like, two of them would be. Um, but anyway, so that's a good one. Um, you know what to do, people. Make, make sure you email us for any advice requests um, to infornightpodcast.com. You can go to comments or contact section and email us there. Ooh, ooh. No, no, drop it. He, he had our, our curtain that separates the, the room, so it's nice and noise-free. Um... So you can go to the website and contact us there. You can also email us at infothenight69 at gmail.com. You can also email us different stories associated with anything that we're talking about. We really enjoy sharing stories, and we haven't had any stories yet, so I'm very upset with you. But also share any advice questions. We still need some. Um, also, how many shots you've taken today? How many? How drunk were you? Um, we just hope to make your life a little bit more fun. Anything else? I can't think of anything. Oh, merch. We do have merch, which is mm-hmm. awesome. Um, just a plethora of random stuff. I'm, I want to make new joggers. I will design that say bio means because I would order those. Well, let's do it, babe. Cause I want to get them. That's what I'm waiting on. Anyway, that's, that's the story. That's... Do it. Do it. Do it. Do, do it. it do it. Do it. For y'all that knows that song, then. If you know, then you know. I was doing Arnold Schwarzenegger. But That's okay. not what I was doing. It's a song. Okay. Anywho, it's not my fault you don't know this song. It's not my fault you don't know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is. Everyone knows who Arnold Schwarzenegger is. Get to the choppa. I'll be back. Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, we're just being ridiculous now. I'm tired. I'm sure y'all are. Enjoy the rest of your day. We hope you gave you a reason to just stay in for the night. Peace out. Bye.